We're still in the void. Yes, we're still in the void. We're still in the void. And for now, that is where we'll stay. Anyways, so guys, you probably are wondering, well, we're going to be pre-recording pre this video. Um, we're pre-recording this video before we go to Disneyland for like two, for like three days. So, yeah, it's one of, you know, so we're just kind of scrambling to make sure we get these videos done. And... Of course. <laughs> well, you just played the road. I know, I know, I know. But, eh. One thing I just, one thing I really get mad at is the fact that whenever I'm trying to do a video, everybody, everybody with any kind of thing just interrupts me for the weirdest reasons. But it, it don't matter. Let me just let me just start this off by saying one thing. Oh my God, man! I'm still reeling from that Butch Hartman thing. Like I know you're gonna see this on like Sunday, but upon recording this video, still reeling from it. And Butch, Butch Hartman's like, you know, actually. I found some evidence that proves that Butch Hartman isn't a homophobe, but yeah, I don't know. It could be, could not be, I don't know. The Lonely Goomba found some stuff out, so yeah. So yeah, and that's in Manga Comments video, but I'm like, eh. Still trying to push the fact that he's trying to, still trying to dishonestly this honestly made Christian Network off the backs of his fans. And just, that shit still irks me because, like, it's like you're not giving kids a choice. Like, what are the kids, who, what about the kids who probably were, who probably, who probably don't, you know, their, you know, their freaking religion isn't Christianity. It's like, it's like Buddhism or Buddhism or something. You know, like whether they worship a different kind of god, you just basically gonna say fuck them because they're not Christian. Or whether the kids, whether the kids, whether the kids, um, whether the kids don't go to church, but in a way they still kind of worship. They still kind of, they still kind of study the Bible. What about them? Well, actually, they're probably cool, but you know, but I feel like you're trying to convert kids without them getting that choice, without giving them the choice. It's, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Butch is doing some sneaky, underhanded shit, and I just, I, I hate it. I fucking hate it. Why does every mother, like I say, why does every motherfucker I respect always have their have an ulterior motive, or just want it, or just can't keep their freaking, or can't keep their smacking weapon in their pants? Like seriously, it sucks, man. It really does. But you're just trying to peddle this whole crazy network on people and not tell them, yeah, that's what I'm doing it for. You should, you know, because it ain't about him making a Christian. It's not. It's it's not about him making a Christian network. It's about him lying about it and then just being like, yeah. And then we just find out about it in like one video where he's like, yeah, I I made no access so. So the kids can have good Christian values. I'm like, don't you think that's something you should have said to your Kickstarters? At least then they would actually want. They'd either probably do it, like even if you, like even if you said that, they probably would have done it willingly. 
Some of them probably would, but I guess you had to hide it because you think that no one would want to do it. You have enough fans to where that wouldn't even be an issue, but you had to lie. And about your criticism, Butch, I want to say this. I feel we have our, we can critique you if we want, okay? Not if people don't do the things you do. Because we all have a mouth, we all have thoughts, we all have things that we, we all have things that can make us criticize something. Like, I criticized the whole, the whole run after fucking poof of Fairly Odd Parents. Why'd you add Chloe? Why'd you add Sparky? And I understand to keep the show going, but even when Alpha J, and I don't care how any of you feel about Alpha J, when even when Alpha J can point out, you know, how you could have actually done this a little bit better, you got, you got some issues with your writing there. You know, people, you know, you know the phrase, everybody's a critic. And it's true, everybody is. Everybody can critique whatever they want. If they're fans of anime, if they're fans of food, if they're fans of, like, books, TV shows, movies, comics, we can critique about whatever we want. But not everybody's going to critique you because they don't like you. A lot of people forget this. We critique things because we want people to get better. That's the that's the real thing about critiquing that no one understands. Not even a grown ass man. Shocking, I know. Look, your work inspired a lot of people to do a lot of different things. You know, we all you inspired me in some ways. To do more magical fantasy elements. Because what you made was actually pretty good. You know, the fairies, the uh, fairy world, the rules made me think more about making con, making more concrete, you know, rules in my stories too. And you inspired Curl the artist to make. To make like a, you know, to make twenty, um, to make his freaking thirty years later comic. You know, you inspire a lot of people to do a lot of different things, Butch. And they get critiqued. They get critiqued too. So to just, you know, why to us, you know. Pull the wool under, over our eyes and lie to us. Lie to us right in our faces. And then just say, whoopsie doopsie. I'm just trying to make a, I'm trying to, I'm trying to convert your kids. I'm trying to convert little kids to the Christian faith. And I feel like that's dirty because, you know, the, the people who should want, the people the people who should want to tell their kids about, like, God in the Bible should be their parents. Straight up. Their parents. Not you. Not anybody else. But their parents. Okay? And you're like... And you know, as, like, people always say, like, you know, and it's like, little Kickstarter thing, it's like, like, you know, families don't get to get get together and watch stuff together anymore. I'm like, my family does every Monday. What the fuck are you talking about? And some people do too. Like I'm saying, not every family, but not the you know, like I'm saying, not not every family, but still, most families do get together and do some things. Even if the, even if the people, even if like the kids or the young adults in the family rather 
do other things. It happens. But just trying to just trying to feed people the old just trying to feed kids the Christian belief before maybe their parents wants maybe their parents want to actually get them in, involved. And they're just gonna use the if they're just gonna use O access to do that. I don't even know why those people are parents. You should want to do this yourself. You know? And I just keep looking at Bush Harmon shit and I'm just like, oh man, you're just you're one of those, man. You're one of those. You just wanna push your you wanna push your beliefs on the people. He don't even care. I'm trying to say, you know, they make, you know, and then they always like he's gonna shoot the youth. I'm like, no, you're not. Because kids today will always be flaming each other, will always be roasting each other, will always be doing anything else other than listening to listening to an adult. An, an adult that isn't even their parents. But hey, you're trying to make it cool and edgy. Nah, nah, man. You can't make shit cool and edgy. Like, you can't make the Bible cool and edgy. It just is what it is. But about the whole criticizing thing again. We're all allowed to criticize what we see and what what we see, what we, what we see, and what we hear, because we have, you know, we know what we like. People know what they dislike. People know what they hate. People know what they hate and what they just feel indifferent to. The internet gave us all a voice to talk about said things. You know, if I want to talk about fucking how bad Titans is. I will. That's going to be the next video for uh, Monday, by the way. You know, if I want to talk about, if I want to talk about, you know, if I want to talk about how bad I think Fairly Odd Parents gotten in later years, I can do that too. But it's a free country. Everybody can say whatever the fuck they want about whatever. If it's art, if it's a movie, if it's a TV show, if it's anything. You gotta learn to deal with it. You know, I'd expect this from, from little young adults that just don't know about the world. And to a lesser extent, and to a lesser extent, just people with big egos, which you kind of do have. But I do, I didn't think I'd you know I didn't think I'd expect this from you of all people you know I'm gonna freaking unsubscribe from your freaking YouTube page because honestly you proved me you proved me without a shadow of a doubt and some people he just some people don't just don't deserve don't deserve my respect because you think because because people people like you just don't deserve my respect because just you have just an agenda or a hidden motive I respected everything I did when it came to fairly odd parents when it came to Dan and Phantom, when it came to Tough Puppy, not a lot of people like Tough Puppy, but I was like, yeah. I watched Bunsen as a Beast. I looked at it, I was like, okay, it's not that great, but I'll give it a shot. You know, I did those things because I wanted to support you. Also, I did like Fairly Odd Parents, Dan Phantom, and Tough Puppy. But, you know, and I always thought, well, Butch Harmon must be the coolest dude in the world. You know, because he gets to, he gets, he gets to, he gets to, like, he gets to do stuff with the show, he gets to, 
he gets all this control and stuff on his show and his pro and his stuff. And I hope it never gets that bad. And boy, was I wrong. And what was even wrong with the last season of Danny Phantom? You just, what, did, what happened? <sighs> but either way, Butch, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, you know, I want, you know, I actually did want to meet you at some point. You know, I thought maybe one of these days I'd be going to a, I'd be going to a con and I might see you. I might say, I, hey, I'm, hey, I'm Bugsy No Name. You're big inspira you were a big inspiration to me. And, you know, you're awesome. Just, 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 you're just freaking awesome. Yeah, I'd walk away. That'd be it. Maybe, maybe we talk about various things, various, various, um, various, maybe various drawing techniques. Um, you know, I don't know. But no, you're just one of the people. You're just like the pe you're just on my list of people I just don't want to meet, ever. It sucks. Because I wanted to believe that the OAXIS network, I mean, the OAXIS, OAXIS was a thing. You know, even though you were a little bit misguided, I wanted, you, I wanted to believe that you were a good guy trying to do good things. Because there ain't a lot of, there ain't a lot of people out there that do that anymore. There ain't a lot. You know what, Butch? I feel like I feel like Markiplier. I feel like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and Doc and Daco, like a few other people on YouTube, are the only people that I still respect. And I hope there's nothing else kooky about you know anything else that's really messed up about them. But I don't know. So, but I doubt you'll ever watch this. But you really didn't lose my respect that day. When I saw that video of you just pushing your agenda on people, it's like I got punched in the gut. It's like I got punched in the gut. But I ain't gonna be like. But I ain't gonna be like certain people that my friend told me about because, but, but, yeah, because my RPG friend is, uh, my R, my role play friend was all like, this one dude is like tripping out because everybody's messing with him. He's like, don't trust anybody. So I'm not gonna go, cr I'm not gonna go like that and be like, hey, don't trust anybody. Nah. Yeah. It's just like I gotta, I gotta be a little bit more careful of who I actually respect and or respect and or uh, trust and I'm glad I didn't give my money to Oaxis because I would have been so pissed but mostly because of the lie so I don't care if you do a version network you can do that I'm not gonna sit here and stop somebody because they wanna they wanna do something they wanna do something with their own religious beliefs in a positive way but lying to people, but lying to people and saying you're going to shave the youth with no axis because you're pushing your agenda, you just basically say you didn't give a fuck about us, point blank. And that was the most sobering thing, that was like the most sobering thing I could, I could ever really hear. Still hurts, but you know, you gotta endure, folks. That's all you gotta do. You gotta endure. Even when shit seems bad, remember, remember the things that make you happy. Remember the things you care about. Remember the things 
that are important to you. Remember the things that inspire you. And remember the things that keep you moving. Because if you don't have that, because if you don't focus on that, you'll be miserable on you'll be miserable all the time. That's all I really gotta say. <sighs> see it see this vi this video will probably be released um at seven. Monday you'll probably get another video at like twelve. Tuesday, same thing. Wednesday, probably really early in the morning. See you guys later. I'm B I'm Bugsy and I got and I got three I got like four more videos to go. Peace.